G'day everyone, Uncle Joey Jojo here. Great to see you all again. Today what we've got is a mini forest that is being logged for radiata pine. Now radiata pine is prop or pinus radiata is one of the main timbers used for timber stud work in Australian residential homes. It was an introduced species to Australia from, if memory serves me correct, the west coast of America around about the 1850s. It's used and utilised in Australia because it grows really well in our environment. It grows about 50 metres tall, really nice and long and straight, and about a 90 centimetre diameter or 900 millimetres. Great timber to work with, very easy. It's a softwood, which makes it light as well as easy to work with. You can throw it on your shoulder, you can throw stick frames up very quickly and easily. It has a quick turnaround rate for growth. Now, they don't really have any, because it's not a native timber in Australia, we don't have a specific place. So we've come to a mini forest area that we've used or that's been used um, by this logging company. Only private loggers or sorry, only private companies or private individuals own radiata pine growth areas. There are a couple of parks that allow these individuals or these companies to grow the radiata pine, such as Vic Forest, um, New South Wales Forestry, just to name a couple. And what happens is if the area has been um, hit by a bushfire or something like that and we need something just to bring some animals back fairly quickly or if we want a vast area to grow some pine that we can utilise in our construction industry then we will use radiata pine. So come with me, I'm just going to show you a few bits and pieces and some gadgets. Yeah, come with me and I'll show you what we got. So here's one of the forests you can see here that's been pulled down. You'll know radiata pine when you see it. It is, see these pine cones? That's a typical pine cone from radiata pine. You'll have seen them everywhere. Christmas trees are also radiata pine. Here's, here's a nice diameter hole. So this is probably about 700 mil across. And you can see here, it's all been cleared and thinned out all the way through. And so they've done just part job. And that goes all the way back to that tree line at the back, just yes, back up there. Here we have them already logged, nice and straight. All of the timbers are nice and straight. We'll walk over there in a second. This timber here is nice and straight. You'll get a few nice studs out of that. Um, and what they do is see all these branches that are sticking up everywhere on this one. So what they do is I'll spin around. This is the finished product. It's all been debarked and debranched. I'll run you over here. Check this machine out. I love this machine. And here's one of the machines. They put the log in here, and what happens is it runs up through this. They turn it to the side, they run it through, and these big teeth here rip the branches off the whole way around and get it nice and, and debark it and run it all the way through. And then we get a product most of the time like this, and it all see. Here we've got them, they've just put these down just to give us a place. This has all been debarked and debranched. They're ready to rock and roll. They've all been marked. You'll see the orange, uh, sorry, you'll see the green mark on that. This one's got the orange marks on it. So these are a certain size, certain diameter. Um, look at the size of that. So that's probably across full face, that's probably close to the, the 900 mil. And you can smell the timber. It's got a really rich smell, radiata pine. Very rich smell. Nice and straight, consistently straight. What's that? That's probably about four and a half meters long, five meters long. They're probably that long only. You can see there, there's that line in it. They're only that long because that's the, the longest length that can be taken by the elephant. When the elephant comes in, they can sit it on top of the elephant trunks. <laughs> only joking. They're only that long. Um, to safely transport but also we can dice those up into different thicknesses uh, so you'll see here we've got really nice big diameter thickness ones you'll see here is a full red pine tree and there's another branch coming off the side of it so what they'll do is they'll dice that four times or three times on the way up debranch it so it's nice and safe to be able to be debranched and then they dice them and 
they separate them into piles. So we've got small diameters here, big diameters again at the end there. So they're all put into position so we can use them and utilize them for transportation. I mean, even no, not much gets put to waste. Even this small one here will get used for a couple of studs or even a couple of posts. They might put that through treated pine. That's our radiator pine. Uh, as I said before, most of the time on a radiator pine plantation is privately owned, um, whether that be through individuals or companies, and it gets leased out. The property they lease from the government and then they can utilize it to grow pine like this. The one problem with pine is that you can see here it's very dusty soil. The pine itself takes a lot of nutrients from the soil and that's the downside of it. But on good companies, there's a lot of good companies out there that actually replace a lot of the soil, the nutrition into the soil so they can replant native trees there. So this will probably be uh, burnt back and then they'll put a, a Vic Ash timber through here or something like that, uh, mountain ash, and then they will replant somewhere, they'll clear somewhere else, plant a pine, and then um, once the growth cycle of the pine's been done, then they'll replant a native timber. And again, we'll utilize whether it be the hardwood, Vic Ash, mountain ash, or if we use pine, it still gets utilized in every way. And it gives us clean oxygen wherever we go. Thanks for watching. Any questions or queries, flick them over to us. If you don't have any, thanks for watching anyway, and stay unreal, banana peel.